Hello, if you're trying to create line chart with gradient shadow like this, but you do not know how to do it, then this is right video for you. In previous video, I have shown you how to create line chart with gradient shadow in card visualization, but in this video, I will show you how to do it in line chart visualization. So let's get started. For this visualization, we will need two inputs. One is one start column, and second one should be a measure that we are going to use pre to present some values within the line chart. So first, let's start month start column. Let's navigate to our uh, calendar table column, and let's create a month start column. Select new column, and we will name it month start. So what is month start? Month start is the first day in each month and that will be because we are using a US date format we will start with the month we will get months using month dex formula and we will use date column from our calendar table and we will combine that using ampersand let's add quotes and let's add number one because we want to use only first day four month start column and let's connect that with let's close our quotes and connect that with year we will select year dax and we will choose our date column because we want to extract year from our date column let's close brackets and press enter and let's see what we got okay okay looks good so we have uh months first day in a month and year so that will be our month start column next input is any measure that we want to present i have here total sales total revenue total orders anything uh, you like so before we start creating uh, this visualization, we will need to borrow uh, one JSON file from Kerry Kolosko. So let's go to her website. Just type Kerry Kolosko. And this is her page. You will recognize it. It has diamond logo and here we are so let's go to templates select tenep templates scroll down here we have a bunch of useful nice looking templates scroll down and we need this one gradient area with brush labels click on it and below we have json code now let's Copy this and let's create new text document and we will name it carry line now paste the code that we got from her website save it Control s close it and let's rename it because we need to add json extension on the end so rbi recognize that as a json file let's remove txt text and add json this pop-up message will shown select yes and that's it now let's go to power bi next thing what we are going to do is go to visualizations click on three dots get more visuals and in search type tab select it click on add and visualization has imported successfully Click on OK and it will be here below all visualizations and click on it. 
let's expand it a little bit and now in values let's add month start and measure we want to present and let's use total sales for this example now nothing has happened next thing what we need to do is to find three dots usually they're in top right corner or in my case in lower right click on them go to edit and new window will pop up we will choose uh, create using existing template and click here on this square let's import json file we downloaded from Kerry's website now we need to add our two inputs that we have created and that will be month start and total sales okay let's click on create and this is preview looks well now let's click on back to report and here it is let's reduce it a little bit here it is you can format it you can add title let's add title and increase font size and change it to something a little bit darker like this and bold it and here it is line chart with gradient shadow looks very nice uh, you can change these colors if you want you can click on three dots go to edit and here under specification you have uh, colors written in hex code but you can change them from here you can select any other color you want let's choose purple one okay and let's run it to see changes okay and we have changed line to purple color and format mode go back to report and that's it you can also change some other settings such as uh, shadow or you can change font of the x or y axis and that's it if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you in one of the, my next video bye